Well, Thanksgiving was a day of service for members of a Tupelo based ministry who made sure hundreds of people weren't forgotten. WCBI's Allie Martin has more on the annual outreach that meets physical and spiritual needs. Bishop Clarence Parks begins each Thanksgiving outreach the same way. I told us today, bless these meals. For more than 30 years, Christians on the move to evangelize has met Thanksgiving morning, preparing and delivering plate lunches with turkey and dressing and all the trimmings. The thing that keeps me coming is I just think there's some mother somewhere who wishes they could feed their child this day. And I do that for her. As people work in the serving lines, the kitchen crew is busy making sure there's enough food. The outreach is made up of various churches throughout Tupelo. Well, it's an opportunity to do some diverse ministry, and that's what we need. I believe in the body of Christ now, more diversity in our ministry because we get stuck in one area and it's uh, not really a service to. Christ, it begins, a service, begins to be a service to ourselves. <laughs> so we don't want to be able to serve oneself, but we want to serve the body. Volunteers will deliver more than 700 meals to jails, shut ins, and other needy people. Organizers of the outreach say it's a great way to put their faith in action. People don't want to listen to you and talk to you about salvation of Jesus Christ with a hungry stomach. So most of the time when you uh, minister to the physical need and we talk to people and, and give them a, a, a dinner. We pray for them and many have accepted Christ through this and we appreciate because this is an evangelist too also. A similar outreach is planned for Christmas Day. Allie Martin, WCBI News. The ministry is always looking for volunteers. For more information, go to our website, wcbi.com.